I'm Dr. Peter Martin from Weill Cornell Medicine in New York. During conversations with colleagues from around the world who treat mental cell lymphoma, it became clear that many of us were having similar concerns about the outcomes of our patients who had experienced progression of lymphoma while taking ibrutinib. To better evaluate our initial impressions, we decided to collaborate on an observational study. The results of that study were published online in January in the journal Blood. The conclusions were as follows. First, we observed that people with mantle cell lymphoma that had experienced progression while taking ibrutinib tended to have poor outcomes. Second, we observed that while some people did better than others, the primary predictors of outcome appeared to be lymphoma biology or behavior rather than choice of therapy. In other words, we couldn't really identify one therapy that worked better than others. It's important to point out that many of the people that were included in this research tended to have a fairly aggressive form of mantle cell lymphoma, and all of them had received multiple prior lines of therapy. So it wasn't entirely unexpected that some people didn't respond very well to subsequent treatments. What was unexpected was the rapidity with which the mantle cell lymphoma tended to progress once it had become resistant to ibrutinib. So despite the unprecedented leap forward that ibrutinib represents for mantle cell lymphoma, it's clear that there still uh, remains some room for improvement. We at Cornell are working to understand mechanisms of ibrutinib resistance and how we might overcome them. If you have any questions about mantle cell lymphoma, please contact us at the Weill Cornell Medicine Lymphoma Program.